welcome to loop learnings this is video number 14 and we are making school management system if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings if you are returning welcome back if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video now we are in video number 14 we are making school management system as i said and we are continuing making with the user interface particularly now user interface requires a lot of work honestly speaking as you know uh, it requires a lot of uh, tidiness a lot of coding a uh, lot of thought process behind what you are going to do or what you're planning to do so these videos uh, that's why taking a little bit time uh, so I, I really appreciate your patience and I really appreciate that you are You know still supporting this channel. So keep supporting this channel. I really appreciate that appreciate that Now what we are going to do before uh, Before this video every in every video I used to demonstrate each and every step now what I thought I thought okay Let me you know the repetitive tasks or activities that I do I will kind of you know pre prepare those and then I will show you what I did so in this video I did exactly the same that I have just explained what I did is I already prepared some of the things for example this form is prepared uh, this was just a text box I converted that to a combo box and we fetched this classes information from the classes table Okay, so that's what I did. Then I have a list box already here. Now that list box is getting the information from a query. That means I made a query as well. So let me show you what query I made. So if I'll go to section queue, we can see here, this is the query and there's uh, something I can see here uh, that needs correction. So let's go ahead and do that while I'm explaining you. So. This query is made uh, by two tables. Of course, these two tables are linked to each other, classes and sections. So I've taken most of the information from sections. Only the classes table is giving us what? Class name. That's what classes table is used for. So uh, that's it. That's the query. From here, we are taking the information and we are populating onto the list box. You must be thinking, hey, you could have done that from the uh, table itself well i can do that but table does not have the class name remember it just has a class id so you know just showing the id is not really a, a, a user friendly way right i hope that you agree with me now so that's what i did before i started this video now what we are going to do in the video well mainly mostly i'm going to focus on vb coding and how to create record and transfer the data from this form to the table and how to fetch the data and update the record as well if we record if we need to do so all of that i'm going to explain in this video so let's go ahead now let me click on this add new button this button is used of course for adding a new record so let's go to uh, property sheet of this button and on click event i want I will click on dot dot dot. I already got the code for error handling. Now let's move on. What's the logic? Let's think about it. Well, the logic says that these two are mandatory fields. These two should not be empty before the record is being created. That's the logic I want to build. So let's move on in here. If NZ Princey open me dot class ID Princey close equal to double quote double quote then basically this line of code is checking if this comma box is empty or it has some sort of data that's what it is doing simple as that now we'll say if it is empty then through a message box saying hey please choose the class from drop down or something if you want to change it to different please go ahead and do that uh, what is the message type well it's a critical because it's an error and the header of the message should be information 
and we'll set the uh, set we'll set the focus as well just to enhance our user interface now we'll check the exactly similar fashion section name as well so else if me dot instead of class we'll say section name okay section name please choose the class section so instead of choose we'll say please provide the class section name all right else if all of these two are false then go ahead and create the record now how do we create the record well it's quite simple if we'll think about we'll create record using record sets basically we'll take the information from here we'll use the vba power of vba and throw those records throw those uh, that information into the table called sections t okay that's what we are going to do so let's go ahead and do that to do that we will declare the variable first so dim oops dim <coughs> rs create as a record set okay then we will set that record set rs create equals current db dot open record set prince open prince close double quote double quote sections t oh, why am i having this why my keyboard is acting funny today right now we'll go ahead and create record so we'll say rs create dot oh boy okay sorry about that you yeah, see man, why i'm typing different letters I'm out of touch <laughs> i guess right now well we'll uh, go to design view i generally do this so we'll get the class id so we'll say rs create see it's just weird is it me or my keyboard don't know but something is weird class id okay all right class name <clears throat> so we'll copy this and we'll paste it a couple of times so next one is class name and status you see because my uh, database table uh, field name and the control name are exactly same that's why i don't have to type it some people they you know they uh, uh, text box like txt section name or cbo class id that's okay i mean that's a preference but i like in that way because that's that makes me a bit efficient according to me i might be wrong in that but according to me according to my experience it makes me a bit more efficient okay i don't have to type txt section name. i just copy the exact same thing from the database table field and then paste in here as if this is a text box or so combo box anyhow now once i'm done with that with this 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 uh, couple of lines of code will actually create a record in the table and save it now after that you need to tell something to the user and i say do cmd.beep give a message box that hey the uh, section has been created okay because it's a success so we'll say in vb information header will be information as well now what next well next is i want to uh requery this list box but before i do that i want to do something else as well i want to create the uh sorry i want to close the record set which i have opened remember i have opened the record set here the table i have to close that after i have created a record updated record i have to close that now i'll go and say mirror list dot requery okay so basically refresh this list box the moment uh, the information is created now after that i want to go one step beyond and that is i want to clear out these fields so the user is ready for the next record adding record okay that's why i want to clear out these fields so how do we do that well it's quite easy me dot class id 
equals double quote double quote me dot section name <coughs> equals double quote double quote me dot uh, status equals double quote double quote me dot updated on equals double quote double quote now talk about status and updated on I need to do something in here here I have to change this to hard coded active and this as well I'll say format okay now and they say date month year okay that's important all right so we have done the debug now it should work now we will test it later on first let's go to update tab and this button uh, not tab button this button's function is to update the record as the name states okay now to update the record what do we need think about it logically we need the unique id of a record in this table and what is the unique id section id that's the unique id for each record because this this record set or table may have hundreds of thousands of lines so we have to find the correct record out of those hundreds and thousands and then we have to update the respective information in this uh, in this table so we'll achieve all of that using record sets i really like record sets i don't know whether this is efficient way of uh, working on it or this is i don't know but i really like them anyway so first logic so that logic is section id should not be empty so we'll say if nz me dot section id uh, equals to double quote double quote then do cmd dot beep message box please choose a record simple as that comma will be critical and then information if that's false then go ahead and uh, update the record whatever record user is trying to update to do that we will use the record set as i mentioned so dim rs update as a record set okay now we'll set that record set and we'll say me dot sorry set rs update dot sorry set rs update is equal to current db dot open record set prince open press close double quote double quote and record set name is sections t all right now before before i move ahead i want to explain something because we are updating the record here um to update we have to open the record set in a dyna set so we'll say db open dyna set so this is to modify the record it's remember it's important now we need to find a record remember i was explaining that out of hundreds and thousands we have to find a record how do we do that rs update dot find first okay and what we need to find we need to find the section id okay equals ampersand me dot section id now if that is found then rs update dot edit and then rs update dot update okay now rather than i go ahead and type it all over things again i would like to go in here i would like to copy this because uh, to be honest exactly the same stuff i'm going to type in here so why should i bore you right <laughs> with uh, the repetition but everything else remains same after this technically i want to do the exact same thing that i did for the create button so i want to throw a message box okay and um, i want to require the list box as well couple of changes like from created to updated uh, from this create to update that's it everything else remains same and addition of me dot section id equals that's it that's it let's debug it save it done okay now let's close that let's close that let's go to the form view let's test it out okay so it says choose the class i did let's say section 
alpha something like that add new and boom we have our new record okay now let's go ahead and uh, create another section section uh, green let's say all right let's create another one uh, sixth class yeah, yeah sixth class section red okay i'm randomly creating sixth class again section blue all right see see how good good uh, efficient process it is now let's make that change from uh, section blue to let's say section uh, yellow let's see if the update function works and it says it's updated let's see here we go it does work so that's it that's the video today i wanted to demonstrate that how we can take the power of vba and we can actually do wonders this was just a small miniature example of that we can do a lot with vba definitely and so if you like whatever you've seen smash the like button if you want to dislike it's okay it's your opinion but what i would ask you to give me the reason why you are disliking because the reason because i want to improve right if you didn't like the style of the video that is you know made of if you didn't like the quality of it if you didn't like my explanation what is it i mean what is it that makes you dislike this video so whatever it is just tell me in the comments below i'll be happy to know about that anyway uh do subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video and uh, that is it for today's video and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye